Welcome to the Blueprint Solutions video tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will show you how to create a new appointment. To create a new appointment, you can go to the calendar icon at the top of the screen, or you can find a day and time you would like and right click. Select the starting time interval you would like. This will bring you to the list of patients. Select the patient you would like to make the appointment for. If you are creating an appointment for a new patient not yet created in Blueprint, you can select the None option. You can also use the None option if you are creating an appointment that is not patient specific, such as a meeting. Otherwise, you can use your keyboard to start typing the first few letters of the client's last name. Select the patient and click Next. This will open the Create Event dialog box. You can now specify what location the event is being scheduled for, what provider the patient is seeing, the description field will populate with the patient's name, then you can choose the event type. The note field will also populate with the patient's phone number. At this point, you can add any appointment specific information. Depending on the type of appointment, we can check the boxes. If you check the first box, that means that this appointment will show up as a solid color. This is a visual cue that you should not double book during this type of appointment. If the box is not checked, it will show up white with a color outline, visualizing that you can double book during that type of appointment. If the patient has indicated that they are bringing someone with them to the appointment, you can check the third party present box. This information will be calculated into a report. The sale opportunity information will get calculated into a closing rate report so we can see out of how many sale opportunity type of appointments we have, how many have resulted in sales and get our closing rate percentages. You can adjust the date calendar by using the scroll bars or take your mouse and hover over the date bar and drag and drop it. You can also extend the duration of the appointment. You have the option to make this an all day event or a repeating event. In this area, you can specify what resources are needed to ensure that they are available during the selected time. Setting the status to tentative can be helpful in the case that you want to be able to track what appointments have been confirmed. Visibility will allow you to set the appointment to date and time only. Click Create Event to Save. The appointment will now appear on your schedule. In the lower left hand corner, you will see the patient and the appointment specific information. In the lower right hand corner, you will see the provider and resource information. Notice the yellow calendar. This signifies that the appointment is in tentative status. You can call the patient to confirm the status and then right click and change the status. Now by using the mouse to hover over the appointment, you will see the calendar is now red signifying that the appointment is in confirmed status. You can utilize your calendar as a call ahead list. We hope you found this Blueprint OMS tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please give us a call.